why don't you tell us a little bit about where you were on on the day that that crispy well uh, caught on fire caught on fire yeah yeah we were uh coming back from the hammers um driving down the 62 highway and uh, i was flat towing it behind my rv came to a stop on the side of the highway and um you know when i came to a stop the rv had a, a rear view camera that i would usually keep on and when i stopped it it appeared that the jeep was overheating uh which didn't make sense because it wasn't even running and uh so i ran back there and threw the hood open and, and there was just flames coming out of the hood and uh couldn't figure out where it was coming from um i unloaded two fire extinguishers on it one from inside the jeep and one from the rv uh wouldn't put the flames out so um in that moment of panic it was time to disconnect it from the rv and and you guys, you guys stood there, right? It, it just, just watch it burn to the ground. <laughs> yeah, you know, I you got I some was, good photos though. Yeah, we got some interesting photos. Um, I was able to get some personal belongings out of the Jeep while it was on fire, um, but I did have to finally call it and just, you know, let it burn. Crispy is a badass JK, but it's had a very turbulent life. Uh, it started life as a trail Jeep for a good friend of ours, Randall Davis. Uh, one day he was flat towing it home from the hammers and it caught fire and it literally burnt to the ground. The only thing left worth saving was the uh, part of the tub and the frame. Uh, Randall bought that back from the insurance company and then we bought it from him. We didn't really have a plan when we bought it from Randall. I just knew that one day we're going to do something really cool with it. Uh, we sold last year's King of the Hammers buggy and uh, needed to scramble to put something together for uh, this year's race. Uh, a lot of brainstorming at the shop and we decided that we were going to finally pull that frame and tub out of the, my backyard and uh, do something with it. No matter what part of the off-road segment you're a fan of or into, uh, there's something for you at the, uh, the King of the Hammers week. Um, we actually are enthusiasts as well as racers at this event, so uh, we'll take a pause in our pre-run to watch the mayhem that is uh, King of the Motos.